See, a loss becomes a much bigger loss when you lose even more throughout the process. Quoth team, keep it clean forevermore. And what I'm referring to is the Baltimore Ravens. Of course, they lost yesterday to the Cleveland Browns in heartbreaking fashion. But the loss became that much bigger because the statuses of both Ronnie Stanley and Marlon Humphrey were unknown to us. Now, when people watched Ronnie Stanley, they saw him, his ankle get rolled up on it. It was really bad. And it's just unfortunate for Ronnie Stanley. I feel really bad for him because that just keeps happening. He just keeps getting rolled up on the wrong way. Uh, but then with Marlon Humphrey, the feel with him from a lot of people, especially since it was a non-contact injury. And you know, non-contact injuries, those are the scariest. Uh, but the feel with a lot of people was that he tore his Achilles. And when you tear an Achilles... You're done for the year. That's it. That's a wrap. Your season is finished, and you ain't coming back till the following season. But we still had a little bit of hope. We had some hope because normally uh, what we've seen, especially us as Baltimore Ravens fans, we've got a lot of experience with injuries. Normally, we would hear an update that same night, especially the game being at 1 p.m. We would hear an update that same night regarding the status of any players that got hurt, especially if it's a serious injury. We would hear about it right away, but we didn't, we didn't hear anything. So... A lot of us were looking around, we were wondering, we were thinking, oh, okay, do we have a little bit of hope? Maybe. And, and no news, in this case, was better than bad news, so we just had to wait it out. And this morning, we got great news. So let's read the report from Ian Rappaport. He said, Ravens Pro Bowl cornerback Marlon Humphrey suffered a lower calf strain. A calf strain. So, not an Achilles strain. So that is <laughs> That's great, man. That that that's amazing because this could have been so much worse for Marlon Humphrey. It could have been so much worse. We still waiting on Ronnie Stanley now, but this could have been so much worse for Marlon Humphrey. But let, let, let's continue. He said, and that's good news. No, Ian Rappaport. Let me correct you, sir. That's great news. But anyway, he said he's considered day to day, though they play uh, Thursday, and his status is up in the air for that quick turnaround. So, Marlon Humphrey, no Achilles strain, calf strain. But no Achilles strain. So uh, what I was thinking and what I was really hoping yesterday <laughs> when I saw him grabbing it, um, to me, it never looked like an Achilles. Like he tore his Achilles to, to me. Now, I'm no doctor, but again, being a Ravens fan, you do feel like you got some medical experience and whatnot, uh, especially with our history. But I, I did not think that it was an Achilles injury. I thought it was his hamstring just acting up. Because he was dealing with the hamstring issue uh, earlier throughout the week. I thought his hamstring just came back around. I'm like, okay, well, maybe he need a banana or something. Give him some Gatorade or something like that. And, and that'll be that. But it, it wasn't. It's a calf. So this is great. Now, play the Bengals on Thursday at the crib. So that's great. But I would not expect Marlon Humphrey to be playing in this game. I, I do not expect it. Uh, now, the game against the Chargers, that's more... I think he he could play in that game, but the game against the Bengals, I do not expect to see 44 out there at all. Um, will he practice this week? I don't think so, but if if he does even practice, it'll be on a limited basis. And, and yeah, I, he ain't gonna play in the, in the Bengals game. He ain't gonna play again. I, that's just me though. That that's just based off me. Y'all know I'm an NFL outsider. No sources, no plugs, no connects, no contacts, none of that stuff. Uh, but I don't think he's going to play. Uh, but anyway, um, between the Bengals game, since that's in just four days, well, now three days because it's Monday already. Wow, this is going by so fast. Ooh, I, I can't wait to be up there be at the bank. I ain't been at the bank in a minute in a minute for a game, and I'm looking forward to it, too. I, I'm looking forward to seeing all the team keep it clean. I'm looking forward to the tailgating and then looking forward to the game, of course. It's, it's just going to be fun, man. I'm looking forward to just being up in Baltimore again. Uh, the last time I was up there, it just made me uh, love the city that much more than I already did. Um, it was just a, a very special experience. But anyway, um, with Marlon Humphrey, with the Ravens playing the Bengals this Thursday, they don't have another game for another 10 days after that. So um, I would expect Marlon Humphrey to get all the rest that he can get. Um, so I, I don't even really expect him to practice this week. But even if he does, like I said, it, it'll be a lim on a limited basis. But I don't expect him to play. So he'll get to rest these next three days. And then he'll have a 10-day break before the next game. So in the Chargers, Sunday Night Football, I think Marlon Humphrey will be back. Um, but, yeah, against the Bengals, no. But this is great, man. This is great. Because now, while uh, we know Marlon Humphrey, he's going to be out at least this next game, in my opinion. Uh, and worst case scenario, if he was out the Chargers game, too, I don't expect that. But we'll see. You never know. Uh, the Ravens have shown that they can hold it down, and they held it down without Marlon Humphrey.
I guess, man, it's like Marlon Humphrey just ain't meant to play against the Cincinnati Bengals this year. He just ain't meant to play against them this year. Because remember, in, we played them, I think, what was it, week two, I believe? And he didn't play that game. He was out with the foot injury. Remember, he had, had the surgery in the offseason, and he, he, had, he, he was out. Uh, so now we're playing the Bengals, rolling back around again, and Marlon Humphrey is probably, most likely, just in my opinion, though. We don't know for sure. But it's not looking like he's going to play in this Bengals game. But again, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, Raven secondary, they've shown like they can hold it down. They can hold it down. Now, uh, speaking of the Raven secondary, and again, shout out to Marlon Humphrey. Shout out to just his health because that's a great thing. Um, somebody who did not look all the way healthy yesterday in the secondary too, might I add, Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams and the Baltimore Ravens in yesterday's game, I was disappointed in them because I didn't even realize it. Uh, but they followed the money. And, and what I mean when I say that, uh, they didn't go based off of the hot hand. They didn't go based off of what had been. In so many different ways, the Baltimore Ravens went away from what had been working in yesterday's game. We talked about it with Keaton Mitchell. We'll talk about that later on this week. Um, but Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams is still like, he still ain't, he still ain't right yet. He, he he is still not right yet. It's no, um, yeah. I and there was I don't know if because there was one play where he, he just showed a couple plays actually where he showed just a lack of effort, and I don't know if it's that's because he just doesn't fully trust his arm yet. But he ain't there yet, man. He he ain't there yet. And what the Baltimore Ravens did, which I was very disappointed in them, um, he out snapped Geno Stone. He played more snaps than Geno Stone did. And I get, like, Marcus Williams, high paid safety. That was their big free agent acquisition last year. Get it. And we love Marcus Williams, but he's clearly still not Marcus Williams yet. He ain't back yet. I mean, he's back technically, but he ain't all the way back yet. And I just don't want Ravens to hurt themselves, man. Because, uh, again, he's not – he ain't there yet, man. Um, And, and for him to – for him to out to play more snaps than Geno Stone, like really, like that? Oh, how? Why? Why? So hopefully Ravens they they get that fixed. Um, but anyway, this is gonna be a big week for um Rock Yassine, for Brandon Stevens too, um for Darby, uh Kyle has I mean just really the secondary as a whole because they are going to have to carry the load of a Marlon Humphrey. Um, they're going to have to hold it down for him because uh, Marlon Humphrey, uh, he has been playing amazing football for like 99% of the time since he's been back. I know there was that one George Pickens play where he gave that up, but besides that, <laughs> Marlon Humphrey has been amazing. Um, but the Ravens are going back to the position that they were in earlier this season when they did not have a Marlon Humphrey. Uh, but again, they did show like, hey, we can, we, we, we got it. We, 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 we can make this happen. Um, so that is a really, really good sign. Um, but yeah, I uh, obviously they will be a lot better with Marlon Humphrey. But with him being out, uh, you still you can still make some stuff happen. You're going up against uh, Joe Burrow. Didn't have the best game last week. Two, two both both of these teams lost. Ravens lost to the Browns. Joe Burrow and them they lost to the Texans. Thanks, Houston. Um, but now you got two teams coming off of losses. They both lost at their cribs too. Um, but now Ravens will be at their crib. So you you don't want two losses in a row. I mean, you never want two losses in a row. You don't want one loss in a row, but you certainly don't want two losses in a row, especially division games. And with it being a division game, you know anything can happen. Anything is possible. The Bengals, I'm sure they didn't like how that last game went, um, and they are going to be looking for revenge. But the Baltimore Ravens, they didn't like how this, this Cleveland Browns game went. And with the Bengals, like with the Bengals, it's, it's different, man. It's like with, with, with each team in the AFC North, you got different types of rivalries with them. With the Steelers, it's been a long time thing, even though it's fell off a lot. It's not the same that it used to be. Uh, and it's okay to admit that. It's okay to say that because it's true. It's, it's just it's not what it used to be. Um, with the Cleveland Browns, it's like with them, they a tricky team because it's like usually Ravens take care of business against them, especially if Lamar Jackson is playing. Uh, but they'll just have some of these games sometimes, very few against Lamar, but – like the game yesterday where they show up a little bit more than the Ravens. But with the Bengals, 
the Bengals have been the new team. They they've been the new team that has. Uh, I feel like this the rivalry with them. It's just it's different. I feel like that this one holds sort of the most weight right now uh, in the AFC North, and maybe it's because of the fan bases, how they interact with each other and whatnot. Because uh, Ravens and Steelers fans, we're in an act. But I feel like when when I see Ravens and Steelers fans in an act, it's like a hey, we hope we beat you, and oh no, we hope we beat you, and it's more respect thing. Uh, with Ravens and Browns fans, they'll interact too. And I know with and this is not a diss, it's just the truth. I know the Browns fans and Ravens have been used to beating the Browns. Browns fans have been used to losing to the Ravens, especially when Lamar is playing. Um, so it's almost like, oh yeah, y'all Browns fans, y'all can talk y'all trash, but well, we don't really take it seriously. But then they, they beat us. Oh, okay, well, hey, look, we see. You. Okay, good game, good stuff for y'all. Y'all got it. Okay, cool. But with the Bengals, with the Bengals, it's just different. It, it's much different. Um, cause I, that's when I'd be seeing people just get all kinds of disrespectful. They'd be saying all type of stuff. Uh, Ravens fans say, oh, Bengals, what, how's that Super Bowl trophy case looking? Then Bengals fans would be like, oh, Ravens, you ain't been there in so long. One in three, buddies. So, and then it just goes back and forth. And a lot worse stuff than that gets said. And I'm sure y'all have seen it too. But I feel like Ravens and Bengals have sort of, uh, taken a, a, a this, it's a newfound rivalry. Um, and this is the one that has the most prestige right now in the AFC North, especially with the Bengals having been to the Super Bowl uh, more recently. They obviously didn't win it, but they've been um, they've had a lot more playoff success, recent playoff success than the Baltimore Ravens have. Uh, so I feel like um, Ravens fans and the Ravens themselves feel like Bengals may be the Baltimore Ravens current biggest challenge. Uh, so that should make things for this game that much more interesting. So much is riding on the line in this game. Um, and again, the expectation is that the Baltimore Ravens will be without Marlon Humphrey. And right now we haven't heard a report on Ronnie Stanley yet, but based off of how he got rolled up on, I don't think he's going to play either. We, but we haven't heard anything yet whatsoever on Ronnie Stanley at all, like nothing, literally nothing. Uh, but when we do hear something, We'll, of course, let y'all know, and I know y'all y'all will let me know if y'all don't see the video first. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss nothing. Subscribe, especially this week. This week is going to be a very fun week. We will not be doing a live stream during the ravens Bengals game because we'll be at the game live. Uh, so that should be fun. Looking forward to everybody. Looking forward to everything. Looking forward to an extremely fun week. I love y'all so much. Again, subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single thing.